Welcome back to another one of our training videos. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at glass partitions, and I'm gonna break one down so you can learn how to size the glass properly. But first, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm sure you've seen these glass walls at the mall or an office or even a school. One of your jobs as a project manager is going to be to create or get some third-party drawings for every one of those openings so that you can do some simple math and then figure out all of the components. But understanding how the systems work is step number one. Let's take a look at one of the more common systems. This is the top channel. It's a one by two channel. It's pretty typical. And this is the bottom channel. It's a one by one. As you can see, the system is designed to be pocket set. Pocket setting is when you push the glass into one channel, swing it into place and drop it into the other one. And that's where the math is gonna come in. But let's start with the easy stuff. Okay, here it is. Just a basic hole that needs some glass. We're gonna pretend that this is a perfect square opening. First, we need the size. I'll add some dimensions. Now we need to decide what the system is gonna look like. I chose to go with three panels wide. Now we start subtracting. The first number we're gonna need are the joints or gaps. For this example, I'm gonna use an eighth inch gap between every piece of glass and also an eighth inch gap at the walls. Now we add up those gaps. Mine total up for a half inch. Next, we subtract. 108 and a half inches minus a half inch leaves us with 108. Next, we divide that number into three. Now that we have our horizontal glass sizes, it's time to figure out the vertical dimension. And this one is a little different. Remember when I mentioned pocket setting a second ago? This is where that's gonna come into play. Let's take a look at the detail from earlier. Because this glass is locked into place at the top and bottom channels, we need to know what the glass bite is, meaning how much of the glass is needed inside the top and bottom channels. Our example shows a half inch bite at the top and a half inch bite at the bottom. Back to our wall here. In order to do this, we need to know our daylight opening. This is the opening size after our channels have been deducted. If our rough opening was 84 inches and we have a one by one and a one by two, we need to subtract three inches from the total. So we end up with an 81 inch daylight opening. Here's a little side note. In the glazing field, we always measure the width and then the height. So if I were to say four by five, I mean four wide and then five tall. Okay, we had 81 inches. Now we just have to add back the glass bite. If we had a half inch for the bottom and a half inch for the top, that brings our glass total to 82 inches tall. So we need three 36 inch wide by 82 inches tall glass panels. Of course, there are gonna be a lot of scenarios that can come up, but in the end, knowing the daylight opening and the bite is the key to ordering the glass. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.